गाइज हैव सीन द मूवी सोशल नेटवर्क वहां पे एक सीन है जहां पे मार्क्स अकबर गोज एंड टॉक्स टू विंकल वॉज ट्विंस विंकल वॉज ट्विंस वर दीज टू ब्रदर्स who had this idea of starting something called the Harvard connection so mark zuckerberg winkel was twins all of them were studying at harvard and these winkel was winkel was twins want to create uh, this website called harvard connection where every student in their college can come online talk to each other and meet each other uh, mark zuckerberg was going to be a software engineer in their company like he was the one who was going to code out the platform and after a couple of weeks mark zuckerberg went ahead and launched the facebook.com uske baad winkel was twins ne mark zuckerberg ke upar case file kiya the case went on for a long time winkel was twins lost the case but then uh, you know facebook ended up paying the twins 160 million dollars to settle the case what we had at harvard when we approached mark zuckerberg was a, a very uh, a product that was well on its way towards completion it was a social network to connect the students and allow them to interact and meet uh, identically to how the facebook operates right today um that argument uh, has mainly been uh, advanced by the facebook and took an idea and has run with it uh this was one of the most historic uh incidents of an idea being stolen Here's another incident. So back when Apple and Microsoft were really small companies when they were like growing, uh there's a popular case where Steve Jobs filed a case against Bill Gates saying that Bill Gates stole the GUI of Apple. The meaning of GUI is graphical user interface. Uska matlab jo Mac OS mein jaise visuals the the fonts and you know uh, the way it was displayed jo design tha that was copied by uh, bill gates and it was used in uh, windows this was a case filed uh, by steve jobs went on for a couple of years but then it was dropped later on so this was another very historic uh, incident of an idea being stolen and as a fun fact uh, elon musk was not the founder of tesla like uh he the idea the initial idea was started by a couple of researchers if you read the book uh, the elon musk biography you'll come to know it was started by a couple of students uh and then elon musk was like one of the first investors but then from there onwards he's the person who took it forward and you know executed on it so the reason i'm telling you these stories is that i get a lot of questions on instagram saying hey harish should we share our startup ideas with our friends what if they steal our ideas what if they are like mark zuckerberg who just take our idea away and you know start building their own startup and become more successful than us should i be sharing my startup ideas with them and in this video will i'll try clearing that up all right so um paul graham who is the founder of y combinator said that ideas are useless uh, ideas are just worthless none of it matters and unless someone's you know selling that idea or working on it it really doesn't matter so even if you have a brilliant idea it could be worth 20 dollars but if you have a brilliant idea and if you've worked on it and if you have you know executed very well on it it could be worth a couple of billion dollars right so his opinion is that no idea is brilliant no idea is amazing all ideas are trash i mean doesn't really matter sabke paas ideas hote hain but it depends on the people who are taking those ideas forward right it depends on the team it depends on where and how fast they're executing uh, that's his opinion right and a lot of people in the startup ecosystem kind of agree with paul graham's ideology because everyone knows that you know having the best idea is not going to help you build a large company right uh, let's take an example of mcdonald's mcdonald's does not make the best burgers there are a lot of other places jahan pe burgers ka taste us mcdonald's se acha hoga but mcdonald's is the world's largest burger franchise right it has it's across the world it's making tons of revenue aur uh, iska reason kya it's because mcdonald's expanded very fast uh, uski marketing bahut achhi hai uh the way it hires the way it you know uh executes and the way it functions as a company that's really amazing right the organization itself is massive enough so even if it does not make the best burgers out there unka burger wala idea itna acha nahi raha to bhi chalega in terms of operations they are doing very well and i think that's what counts 
Same goes for companies like Domino's. Domino's does not make the best pizzas. You can find much better pizzas at other, you know, boutique uh, restaurants. But no, Domino's dominates the market, right? Um, Starbucks does not make the best coffee. Uh, but the way they expanded, the way they set their culture, the way they marketed, the way they sell, the way they price their products, there are so many factors involved uh, apart from just the idea, right? Like the startup phase is filled with a lot of chunks of it. You say, pele ideation hota hai, then you test the idea, then you build a prototype, then you, you know, do more testing, then you market it, then there are like so many phases that build a startup that just focusing on the idea might not really be a good thing. So I a billion dollar idea, bhi raha, but if I'm not really working on it, it doesn't really make sense, right? So now that begs the question, should I be sharing my idea? Say I have an idea of starting a food delivery company, right? Should I be sharing this idea with my friends? And in my opinion, I think you should be sharing these with as many people as possible. Because every time you share your idea, you get to learn a lot about your ideas, ke strengths, kya hai, ideas, ke weaknesses, kya hai, koi idea you know, succeed ho sakta hai, kya fail ho sakta hai, kya log kya sochte uske baare mein, will they become your future customers? There are so many things that you can get to know by just talking to people about your ideas, right? Like if I want to start a food delivery company, I can ask people, I can ask my neighbors, hey, you know, is will this service be useful for you? Uh, what do you think about this service? Uh, will you buy from me in case I start selling? Uh, you know, what kind of food would you like to have on these services? Aisi cheeze pooch sakte ho. It really helps you in getting customer insights and customer interviews. Aisi logo se pooch ke kar sakte ho. Like when we were starting Blue Learn, we spoke to a lot of people and we just told them about idea. And if, you know, uh, agar ye dar hai ki agar usne mera idea copy karke uh, execute kar liya, then it means that you are a bad executor. And anyway, you would have lost a competition in uh, in the future, right? So, uh, you know, you have to, you can share your idea, but at the same time, make sure that you're also executing on it so that no one else picks it up and executes faster. And in all honesty, there are very few people who actually care about it. Like, we feel like our idea is very special or, you know, I shouldn't be sharing it with anyone. But in reality, even if you share it, there are a lot of people, right? Like, if I share Blue Learn's idea with you guys or with, you know, um, my neighbor, my neighbor is a stock market person. He has a lot of things, a lot of other things to do. He has to take care of his family. Why would someone put all their, all their efforts and energy into executing on my idea? Maybe there will be a couple of people for sure, uh, but not everyone's gonna actually copy your idea. That's just in your head. And finally, there is a difference between ideas and insights. So one of my friends, Rahul Mathur, who runs a company called Verac, said this. He said, ideas can be shared, but do not share insights. What I mean by that is, if I'm starting a food delivery company, I can talk to my people, I can talk to my friends and tell them that I'm starting a food delivery company, explain them kaise kaam karne wala hai, kya, kya hone wala uske under, uh, do some user interviews, all of that is fine. But do not share insights. Insight is something that's unique, that only you are aware of, right? For example, if I'm starting a food delivery company and if I know ki Juhu, Mumbai mein, 30,000 log hai, jinko roj, raat ko 11 baje burger order karna hota hai, if I have a unique insight and if I think that I can deliver a burger to them every day at 11 p.m. to these 30,000 families, that's a unique insight that only I know of, right? And if I share this with most people, they might exploit this and maybe start a business around it. So do not share your unique insights, but you can definitely share the broad idea and get a lot of feedback about it. So that's my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. And also we have a startup club. We have a startup channel on our Discord server. So you can come there, start chatting over there about your ideas you know, share your ideas, get some feedback. I'll be there. I'll try answering a couple of your questions. So if you want to join the community called Blue Learn, do join in. Link is given in the description down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.